The first thing you're going to want to do when you get to the TV is check out the two remotes. On the back it shows you which room they're associated with and you want to use the right remote for the right room because it won't work if you're in the wrong room. So turn on the TV with the Samsung remote and then make sure you're on HDMI 1. You can change that from source. In some rooms we do have either a DVD player or some video games. Uh, and then if you don't see the uh, Amazon Fire menu, you'll want to press the home button on the Amazon Fire remote. Now Amazon Fire menu is a little bit confusing. You can go across the top to look at things like TV shows, movies, videos, or up and down, where again you can see recent apps and games, Amazon, and so forth. Um, in terms of channels that we get here, we get all the Amazon Prime, we get Netflix, and we get HBO. Uh, it will show you things we don't get, for example, Stars and Cinemax. So if you click on those, it'll ask you to subscribe or log in, and unfortunately, unless you have a subscription yourself, you won't be able to watch those. But other than that, feel free to watch whatever you want. Again, you can uh, scroll across, listen to music, watch movies. If I want to watch The Great Gatsby, I can also press down the Alexa button. Play The Great Gatsby. I can't find The Great Gatsby in your library. Buy it at audible.com. Okay. Play Iron Man. Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Oh. Watch the movie Iron Man. Here's Iron Man. <laughs> And then you can go back to uh, the home button and watch something else. So again, lots of things available. Uh, enjoy it. Pretty self-explanatory. Thank you.